Welcome to Understanding Risk, a five-part podcast series by Apple and Pear Australia. My name is Hugo Britt, and I'm joined today by APAL's very own Jeremy Griffith, who is our Head of Government Relations and Advocacy. Jeremy is here to talk about netting, which is probably the most recognisable method of managing risk in Australian orchards. With something as expensive as netting, growers have to grapple with an age-old question that has faced every business owner at some point, cost versus risk. Is it really worth spending the money? Can we afford to invest in netting? Can we afford not to invest in netting? We know that netting can help us manage all sorts of risks from hail damage to pest attacks, but how likely is it that some of these risk events will actually take place? Is it worth spending money to protect against a freak weather event that might only occur once every 40 years? Risk experts will undoubtedly say yes, risk mitigation always pays off in the end. But for a cash-strapped grower with little money to spare, the decision isn't always that simple. So Jeremy, what would you say are the main benefits of netting for apple and pear growers? What sorts of risks can they help mitigate? Well, I think in the last couple of years, uh, I think the benefit of netting, netting has really stood out. Um, I mean, the traditional uses are obviously protect against hail, but we're seeing some of the extreme heat uh, in the Goulburn Valley and the impact on fruit size, particularly garlic in the early parts of the season. Uh, and netting, if you use it properly with overhead sprinklers, can reduce the temperatures and reduce the overall heat. Um, we're seeing a lot more flying foxes and uh, bird infestations, particularly with the drought, due to a lack of feed. They're, they're coming to the orchards to try and food. Um, and so some very clear and tangible benefits. Uh, we've seen those extreme hailstorms in, in Adelaide the last few years in a row. Um, so um, netting ticks so many boxes from protection, from point of view, from uh, apple and uh, pear orchards. So given all these benefits, why would you say over 60% of Australia's apple and pear orchards are currently unprotected by netting? I think probably one of the biggest drivers is the the upfront costs. Um, you, know, you can look up to $60,000 per hectare to get put your netting in place. Um, and given if a lot of business is a small family business, they might not necessarily have, to have access to that level of capital. Uh, so it is a significant upfront level of cost. And so that's one of the challenges that um, we have seen, we have been seeing over the last couple of years more investment in netting. Um, but we really want to see that accelerate because it is such an important area of risk mitigation. So that is a significant investment, isn't it? And often uh, these growers, unless they're a very established business, will have to uh, approach some sort of bank or lender to get that money. So in the end, um, I guess from, from in your opinion, from what you've, you've observed uh, among growers, is netting worth it if we're talking about cost versus risk? Oh, I think there's no question about that. I think if you go to your wine industry for it over the next 10 to 15 years, I think there'll be very rarely very few occasions where you will not have netting in place. I think some of the extreme uh, weather outcomes recently, particularly the hailstorms in, in, in South Australia, where you know, growers are losing up to 40 to 50% of their crops in just a matter of minutes uh, because of lack of hail netting is, is so so critical. Uh, the flying fox and bird infestations are predominantly becoming a lot worse. Uh, and the damage we've had reports, you know, Bacchus Marsh in Victoria, they've, they've never had flying foxes down there. Uh, reports of one grower was losing up to fifty thousand dollars a night just from from these infestations from the birds and the flying foxes. So, um, without question, I think just from a, a, a clear risk mitigation, uh, the profound impact that can happen to your crop in a very short period of time without the proper protection is 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 very significant. And also, too, I think some of the studies about, particularly in the middle of the drought, you've seen, you know. If, if with irrig right irrigation, you can see up to kind of 20% less water required by using netting. So some very, very important benefits of it all and, and very important for protecting your crop and kind of guaranteeing your food supply. Well, Jeremy, that's all we have time for today. So thank you very much for joining us. Great. Thanks very much, Hugo. Cheers.